Thanks for taking a break from your busy so that you can encounter a little more of Adventure Resting Community by building a St. Patrick's Day charcuterie board this month. Let's get started. Let's start chopping our vegetables and getting things prepped so we can create our St. Patrick's Day charcuterie board. The reason we chose to use green pepper is because when you cut them, they look like a four leaf clover. And so we thought what a great way to hold some of the dips we have. You'll see today that we are using a large board to hold all of the ingredients and the beautifulness of the charcuterie board. And then we're using a long plate to hold all the dips. So let's continue. So this board will be savory and sweet. And we have a lot of different varieties of things that will be going into the board. We have fruit, we have vegetables, we have chocolate, we have different kinds of breads and different kinds of spreads. The reason for that is part of St. Patrick's Day is having a lot of fun and making sure that we can be very abundant in our eating. And so you'll see all the different ingredients and the reason for those is to bring color and to bring different texture and to bring different flavors. So celery and carrots will be going on the board to bring a few different colors to our St. Patrick's Day board. For our family, some of our favorite kind of carrots are baby carrots. Part of the reason is they're really easy to eat because they're small and cute, but they're also really sweet. And so again, this is to bring a different kind of color, a different kind of texture, and a different flavor palette than what would normally go to just a savory board or just a sweet board. charcuterie night in our house and the reason for that is it allows us to snack all night long but it also helps us empty our fridge so we take any of our extra lunch meats our extra cheeses and our extra fruits and vegetables and put it on a board add a couple dips and then we have charcuterie together for our St. Patrick's Day board we are using a sharp white cheddar as our cheese pieces of St. Patrick's Day is Irish soda bread. So we actually couldn't find any here locally for us to buy, so we ended up buying a box mix from Amazon. You can add whatever you want to it, but it's actually really delicious, super easy to make. It is the mix with some buttermilk, and we added raisin to bring a different texture and flavor. Can you see the steam rising? We just baked this. And let's be honest, nothing's better than fresh baked bread. Okay, I think that's everything we need cut for our charcuterie board. Let's start assembling. So we're using another ARC Outfitters board, and this is our welcome home board. I told Mike before we started, I am gonna need our biggest board to hold all the things that we have in store for this charcuterie board. This is a board actually from Ikea, but we decided to engrave it. It was our first engraving we ever did. And so you can order any of our boards at arcoutfitters.org. So as always, one of the things to consider when making a charcuterie board is to make sure that things look beautiful and full. And so we have a ton of ingredients, so it's going to be hard to fit everything onto this board. But our goal is to create different spots of different colors, different spots of different textures, so that wherever you're sitting, you can try something new and something delicious.
dried beef, which is similar to a corned beef as some of our meat for the charcuterie board. The truth is with the charcuterie board, there is no real rhyme or reason to it. The goal is to fill it and fill it full. One of my college spring breaks, I had the opportunity of going to Northern Ireland, and every afternoon we had tea time, which involved an Earl Grey tea, some rye pumpernickel bread, and then orange marmalade. So we got rye pumpernickel bread, and this will actually be the base of what we would usually consider a cracker. So a person could put cheese and meat on it, they could put just mustard on it, they could put just artichoke dip with it, they could put marmalade on it. We have all those different types of dips for this opportunity. Again, for texture and color, we got two different kinds of grapes, purple and green. Our board's getting pretty full, and we have a few more ingredients to add. Let's go with pretzels next, then we'll do the Irish soda bread. Soda bread will go next, and then we're going to put pickled vegetables right in the middle. And we have one more thing to add to the board before we go to our dip plate chocolate. Now, okay, so the truth is leprechauns at the end of a rainbow are not a real thing with a pot of gold, but it's fun to have chocolate no matter what. So we got Hershey's gold nuggets to be a part of our board just as a little bit of sweet treat and something special for those that will be enjoying it. entire charcuterie board full. Now, dip plate, right? Let's get to that. The dips that our green peppers will be holding are our spinach artichoke dip and some hummus. This has become one of our favorite hummus mixes. It is Hummus Trio by Hannah, and you can get this at Costco. We also got some delicious spicy brown mustard. The reason for that is our hope is that someone would be able to make a sandwich if they want with the rye bread and the cheese and the beef, or they could dip their pretzels in it. I don't know about you, but I love honey mustard pretzels. And then for the delicious marmalade. Thanks for joining us this St. Patrick's Day. Salancha.